Hello everyone, welcome back to Liberal Studies and Gaming 2003. I am your host, Legion. I'm so excited now that we're actually getting down to it. Me too. So ready. I can see Atlas in his crater. Since we're all split up, I wonder, how are we going to run the perspectives? Like, are we going to go on a cycle of, like, you know, highest initiative roll or highest d20 roll to lowest? Or, Mm -hmm. okay. And then eventually we'll just bump into each other? Yep. So we'll not if I see you first. And not if I get fucking eaten by an endoraptor first. We can always not bump into each other for, like, three hours. (laughs) So besides killing dinosaurs, I mean, so besides killing dinosaurs, we have to kill each other too, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, last uh, person standing, yeah. Isn't I don't want to kill you guys. Hold on, isn't that? Uh, I mean, um, a lot of our characters have unfair crazy. advantages. Isn't Silver like a mortal? No, she's. That's she's, why you use magic items. That's why I said anything goes. She's <laughs> totally immune to physical damage. It's not magic. Uh, um, Yes, I'm only 400 rounds away from, uh, from Atlas. Only 400. Since anything goes, I have that Gatling gun now. <laughs> you guys, I didn't ask for, for any items. I didn't ask for any crazy feats. The only feat I asked for is it wasn't raw. Was the one that makes me bulkier. Literally, it lets me carry more. That's the gimmick. That's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think the only thing I have that's not, or that is really like homebrew, is home. the Lord Slayer. Oh, and, and, the, then it's, and, and my the ability to, to, you know, and the ability to absorb people. Yeah, Shit. but that's kind of, I, I haven't gotten exact confirmation that I can do that. Top of the line is Kova with Nate on deck. All right, we're actually doing things. Let's go. <laughs> hmm? The most homebrew thing I have is the lament configuration. If he's gonna hang with you until you do something. All right. I'm back at the beach. So it's Nate with Nate with silver on. Uh, uh, technically, Atlas with silver on deck. Mm-hmm. So, um. Should we put our tokens on initiative, like on an initiative tracker? Just I, so have, we can... I have it written down. All right. Okay, sweet. Oh, the classic, so the classic so initiative tracker. Well, I mean. Notes. Oh my gosh, I'm surrounded by dinosaurs! Uh-oh. I'm surrounded! Oh, raggy. Oh, are we allowed to see the dinosaurs now? No, I can see them. Legion can see, can see his sight. Yeah, yeah, you guys want to see... That's a lot. I got to use the limit configuration immediately when I start my turn. Oh yes, that that is quite a large number of. Uh, yeah, but you don't, the thing is, you don't know if they're peaceful, aggressive, or anything. It's not your turn yet. You're not going to tell me what type of dinosaurs they are. I'm not until your turn. Oh great! Well, <laughs> and you were a lot. <laughs> yep, I rolled a two. Well, this is troublesome. And by the way, and is there the sun out? Is it daytime? It's very important. Yes. Uh, fun rockers. <laughs> 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 but that's not very that's not very lore friendly though. So I sh- I should just commit and say it. I love it. And I'll leave it up. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> but like I said, you don't know if it's a friendly thing or if it's. Well, regardless of how it feels, I'm not friendly, so I think I'm just going to move myself along. Is this a heavily forested area? What was that? Is this a heavily forested area or a wolf? No, I wouldn't say heavily, but you do see trees roughly around, like, easily within 15, 20 feet from each other. Hmm. Okay. And you also noticed off to your, if you're facing south, off to your left, there is, because since you're up on the, on the, um, the lip, you can't see down a little bit. Mm-hmm. That towards the base of that crater, there is some form of, uh, of water, but you can't make out quite if it's a body of water, a stream, or anything like that. 
Mm. Water. Flying thing. <laughs> Forest. <laughs> crater. Oh, and there's a bunch of rubble rock and everything. Like, if it, the like, stuff was like falling down the crater almost. Rocks. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Are they actually this whole, Are they this actually whole rocks, area. or were they or were, or were they reformed into a golem? <laughs> no, mm. it's just kind of only in this campaign. All right, then just want to check. Does it does it look as if these rocks have been displaced, or have they been lifted from the crater spot? Are they debris? It's debris? like debris, rock slide remnants. Like mm. it looks like it's also it. You can tell it. It is a rough terrain to traverse. Ooh. Are there any uh, valuable gems or stones in these rocks? Just a bunch of rocks. Some gray, some white. Some gray, like me? Hmm. Gray. Well, <clears throat> I think I'd like to inspect these rocks. They officially have my attention. I'll go south a little further. <laughs> At least past the big tree. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what's really captivating me. These rocks. Reminds me of home. Rocky. Difficult terrain. Gray. Oh yes, it's bringing me back. Many, many years back. Here I go. Mm. Oh, that is indeed a tree. Yes, that's quite large. Oh, okay. This is just normal. But you would have to take the first. So the 16th? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, because I always set mine up to knock for advantage to ask you if you want to and everything. That's why I was confused. Um, you notice you're in homeland almost. It's dark. She's been, okay. She's only been there for a brief time when she was cocooned in a tree, and that's how she got her power. Oh, I don't know your character's backstory fully. Nate, do you want to explain what happened with Silver and the Feywilds? Just a brief kind of. She's in synopsis. Feywild territory right now. But it didn't know. happen in the Feywild. Question. <laughs> well, she didn't talk about what happened in the Feywilds. Even uh, sh basic, long story short, uh, she was. Infused with uh, Archfey energy, basically. It gives her various uh, physical and magical properties and stuff. Yes. She was stuck in a tree and hibernating with a mother and sister, and then she got teleported back. So she really didn't spend much time exploring. And you know, at one point, Alternate Timeline Legion was also tortured by the Fey. But we won't get into that. The one of three that entered this campaign. <laughs> one of the, actually, it was one of the three that entered the campaign. Was the alternate timeline who got tortured by the Fey? You are correct. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Veil with Adara on deck. All right. So, what do I see around me at the current moment? You are in a giant open area with one giant tree with water behind Ooh. you. Fancy. Well. And way else. off the distance, about. You kind of make out some form of a structure, but you don't know exactly what it is. Because I don't well, think you can see too hard. Give me the bridge on the map. Is that what I see? Yeah, I'm like, I don't think you can see 240 feet away. Well, that would really just depend on if there are any hills or something. Like being able to see in detail that far, maybe not. But. That's why I was saying you can see something over there, but you don't know exactly okay. what it is. Well, given that I have no recollection of how I got here and no idea what inhabits this strange island, the first thing I'm going to do, since I have an Eldritch invocation <laughs> for it, is become. I, I'm casting invisibility on myself at will, and then I'm going to start on a leisurely stroll towards that uh, 
thing in the distance. And, uh, well, for the sake of it, do I see anything around me as I'm doing this? No, you just feel the breeze of ocean behind you. Hmm. Oh, very well then. I shall be, uh, continuing my invisible stroll towards the bridge. Uh, how far should I put myself forward? What's your speed, movement speed? Uh, let me see here. Because every square is a uh, 30. Square. So you move 30 so feet. So there's 30 forward or 60 or what? 30 feet forward. Every square is 5 feet. Alright. I do believe that covers things for me. What was that? If there's nothing around me to, uh... If there's nothing around me that seems noteworthy, I, I do believe that is your turn. my turn. It. All right. It is. Um, Faro with Legion on deck. You rolled a two for initiative. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was once again just added to the list. Added to the list and/or pile of technological problems I had today. <laughs> <laughs> 